Uh, lastly, we're going to talk about NFL Week 5. Uh, first, I want to hit on Panthers versus Falcons now. The Falcons are now 0-5. They had fired their uh, head coach and their GM, which I think is 100% the right move to make as Dan Quinn just does not know how to hold leads at all. He's a defensive coach, and their defense has been absolutely trash for years now. Their offense isn't the same, and it seems like they deal with injuries every single year. So I think it's time for big moves in Atlanta. I think it's time to trade a guy like Julio Jones, uh, get as much value as you can for him, as he is an aging player who has dealt with injuries these past couple of years. And I know that's like your franchise guy, your best player. And that's a tough move to make. That's a tough pill to swallow. But at this point, I think it's time for big moves to happen. I would keep a guy like Calvin Ridley because he is a younger player uh, on a smaller contract. I would keep guys like Deion Jones because he's young, uh, Grady Jarrett. And uh, hopefully you guys can have a big draft this year because I think it may be time to replace a guy like Matt Ryan too as he's been pretty lackluster this year with really good offensive weapons. Uh, he is some of the best receivers in the NFL, and uh, even though Todd Gurley hasn't been super consistent yet, he's had some really good flashes and had some good games. Like in this one, where he had 14 carries for 121 yards and a touchdown. Calvin Ridley and Julio Jones make one of the best, if not the best, receiver tandem in the whole league. Calvin Ridley had eight receptions for 136 yards this game, but Matt Ryan is just... A player who is good, but I just don't think is good enough. And with the age he's at, I think it's time to try and uh, draft a young quarterback, even if it's maybe later in the first round. Uh, a guy like Trey Lance could be an interesting pick for them. Uh, maybe let him develop behind Matt Ryan for a year, and then uh, he would have good weapons uh, to start his career off. So that'd be an interesting move for them. But I just think there needs to be big change in this organization because they've been a consistent underperformer. But literally, other than them making uh, the Super Bowl, where we all know what happened there, they're blowing the 28 to 3 lead, they've been consistent underperformers every single year. And it's, uh, it's, uh, continuing to happen this year. They continually deal with injuries. They, uh, continually just don't look as good as you expect and them losing to a Panthers team who even even though they're three and two they haven't faced the best competition they beat a Chargers team who is solid uh, but that was basically a 50-50 game uh, they beat the Cardinals which was an impressive win uh, but this Panthers team isn't really good like and they lost to them and it's just a bad bad look for the Falcons they are 0-5 looking like one of the worst teams in the NFL, even though they have way more talent than any other team who is in the same situation than them. They just continually underperformed. And especially in the NFL, which it's not like the NBA. The NBA, I think coaches get blamed a lot too much because at the end of the day, it's like uh, the coaches can do uh, their certain thing, but at the end of the day, the players have to uh, go out there and perform. But the NFL is such a coach-heavy league where coaches can really be the difference. And we've seen that for years and years now, where teams like the Patriots, who even though they're talented teams every year, they may not necessarily be the most talented, but with a guy like Bill Belichick, you can consistently rely on the Patriots being good. And we've seen the Falcons again and again blow big leads because they do not know how to handle the clock at all. And their defense, even though... They're, they're supposed to be a defensive-minded coach. Their defense has been terrible. Uh, their secondary this year is one of the worst in the NFL and just gets tore apart every game. Like, Teddy Bridgewater had 313 yards and two touchdowns this game. Mike Davis ran all over them, 16 carries, 89 yards. Uh, Robbie Anderson had a huge game with eight receptions and 112 yards. DJ Moore, 93 yards and a touchdown. Like, this team is just this team is just bad. Yet again, and it just seems like every year we expect them to be at least a solid team. I didn't even expect them to make the playoffs this year, but I expected them to be like 7-9 and nine or something. And now they're the worst team in the division when the Panthers are in the division. And they, they just lost to the Panthers. This is a really bad situation, and they need a big change immediately. So I think firing the coach, firing the GM after such a horrid start was the correct move for this team. 
and I just think more moves need to happen. I think it's time to try and get rid of um, most of your old players and get as much value as you can. Because even though Julio Jones is an older player, with how talented he is, he's the most talented receiver in the NFL, and in my opinion, it's not really even that close. I think any team would be willing to give up a pretty decent package for him. So I think he might need to be out the door, even though that's, like I said, a tough pill to swallow with how great he is. Uh, the Falcons just disappoint yet again. And yeah, really, really tough for uh, them and their fans to continually deal with this.